In this evening in Burlington, where the city council voted on a resolution opposing the placement of F-35 jets at Burlington International Airport. The F-35 is nuclear weapon capable. Now those against basing the fighter jets in Burlington want to make sure that won't happen here. Local 22's Courtney Adelman has more on what went down last night. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Lauren and Glenn. Last night, the Burlington City Council approved the resolution against basing nuclear-capable aircrafts. And the resolution calls on officials like Mayor Weinberger and Governor Phil Scott to tell the United States Department of Defense that F-35s are not welcome in the Queen City. Next month, 18 F-35 jets will fly into Burlington International Airport. On Monday night, the Burlington City Council voted unanimously against the fleet holding nuclear weapons. It was a long meeting. I think people worked really hard to, uh, you know, make sure all the sides were heard. Military officials have maintained that wasn't in the plans. At, at this point, Vermont does not have a nuclear mission, and there's no plans at this time for a future nuclear mission. But some Vermonters say having the F-35s in Burlington could still make the area a target. Regardless, we're going to be a target as soon as they come here because they are uh, capable of having nuclear weapons attached to them. James Lees has been an activist on the issue for over nine years. He says something like this shouldn't happen in a populated area. This airport is surrounded by three cities and four towns. And so if on takeoff, it has a problem and crashes into a new ski, that will be such a disaster. Lees also says the noise from the F-35s would be dangerous for children and adults. In a place like that, you can expect to get hearing damage. An amendment added by the city council president acknowledges the council recognizes the planes are coming and the resolution wouldn't stop it. Those in favor of the fighter jets say it will bring in a lot of money. The F-35 brings in um, 30 new, 30-ish new positions that bring in over a million dollars annually in salary for, you know, for Vermonters. Lees and others say they will keep fighting. It just has to stop. And I think the, mo the campaign to to accomplish that will continue to grow. And for more information on the fighter jets and the re resolution made by the city council, you can go to mychamplainvalley.com. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.